Breaking news at this hour. Good evening to you. I'm Kenan Oliphant. Dayton police are hunting for a shooting suspect on Dayton's east side. Right now, police have a home surrounded on Samuel Avenue near Josie Street. That's in the historic Inner East neighborhood. So Nuwasu is live at the scene to tell us what led to the standoff in our top story at 6. Kenan, we are live on Drummer Street right now where a police standoff is taking place. You can see dozens of people are outside standing here on the streets watching this drama unfold. Now behind this crime tape, about a half block down the street, police have surrounded a home. The suspect involved in a shooting at the quick cold drive through is believed to be holed up in that house. Now we're told police have taken two people into custody at this time. They are attempting to contact a third person inside that house. Now this shooting took place just after three on Wyoming Street. That's about a couple miles from here. Police say a man wearing a ski mask walked into the quick cold drive through He was harassing customers, and witnesses tell us the clerk asked him to leave, and that's when the suspect pulled out a gun and shot the clerk. Now, this clerk actually ran about two blocks before he was able to call for help. The gentleman was uh, shot. he come running up our neighborhood uh, yelling for help, asking for someone to call 911. Come to find out he worked at the... Uh, drive through right down the street here. Now we're told that the suspect did take money from that convenience store. We've also been told that the SWAT team is on their way here. They have evacuated a few homes in this area. Now the victim was taken to Miami Valley Hospital. Sus witnesses have told me that he was shot in the arm and the bullet actually went into his back and we're told that he suffered a collapsed lung but is in stable condition at this time and we'll have more information as it becomes available. Reporting live in Dayton, Sonu Vasu, 2 News on your side.